Shout out Sniper T on the beat. Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise with life on the forefront of the mind. So line for line, you can ride this brain train and you can change your station without even touching the dial. So relax, stay a little bit, but listen for a while. And whether you're bumping this in the whip or in a business fit, it's a meeting you won't want to miss. A meeting for a meal to feed the soul with words for the mind. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Time to take off, it's time to fly. Cause Tamara till the break of dawn is on the rise. Hey, 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 y'all. It's me, Tamara. <laughs> Y'all, listen. At the time of this recording. It is 12.08 a.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday, meaning that this episode has to drop in less than four hours. This is literally, I know I'll be saying this about to be a quick episode every time and then don't be a quick episode. Hopefully I ain't lying this time, but I can't imagine this being a quick episode. I mean, not I can't imagine. I can't imagine this being a long episode because y'all it's late I don't even know what happened like I don't understand I mean I guess I do I've been way busier with clients then we had a family game night on Sunday so also at the time of this recording yesterday was the girl's dad's birthday and so usually we'll have like dinner some sort of game night I'll have a cake whatever so we originally planned that for Sunday because Sunday is my day off But then their sister couldn't come on Sunday because her son was sick. And so then we still had the game night Sunday. That was so fun. Shout out to the people that could come. So fun, so fun, so fun, right? But then I had told their sister, like, okay, well, then we'll do something, like, actually on his birthday. So we did something on his birthday. And so I got a vehicle on Tuesday. Y'all, listen, y'all that know, that know, that know, that you know, that you ain't new, like, I have been without my own vehicle for over a year, and at first it didn't matter because I didn't really need to go anywhere, then when I started doing this subcontracting work, I have to go to the kids' houses to meet with them, and so I borrow this person car, that person car, me and Kayleon have been sharing a vehicle, whoop de whoop And then, man, God is so good. Like the person that I do the subcontracting work through basically just bought me a work vehicle. And he knows I don't have a personal vehicle of my own right now. So he said, I don't care if you use it for personal use too. So then when I do get a personal vehicle, because it's crazy because I was thinking like, when I get my own vehicle, I don't want to like have to be putting all this miles on my car, all these miles, excuse me, on my car or whatever. And so I was thinking that, but I wasn't about to buy no two cars. I ain't even have one. You know what I'm saying? No, no, nigga. We can't. No, no, not right now. You feel me? So shout out because we had some car problems last week. We had some car problems two weeks ago. Like it just been a little, 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 little bit chaotic. You feel me? But he was like, he had already been thinking about getting work vehicles for me and somebody else and whatever. And so I got mine Tuesday. And so I've been like doing my thing. You feel me? Like it don't even seem real. It's so wild. So dope though, because now I can have my clientele be the way that I need them to be because I don't have to worry about picking my kids up from work or taking them to work or whatever. So I can kind of just go do what I need to do and then come home. So I actually can take more kids, you know what I'm saying? But I can just have a better schedule with that just because all I have to really consider is kind of like what I need to do, you know what I'm saying? So super excited with that, super excited, excuse me, about that. It's going to be very minimal editing with this too, just because, bruh, like at the time of this recording, we have less than four hours until this episode drops. And this was almost like, it's crazy because y'all know I pride myself. Like shout out, hold on, mm. run that back. 
Hey, y'all. Hey, thank you for tuning in. To all my new listeners, new episodes drop every Thursday. I usually talk about my life, my interests, the ways I got to grow and all that good stuff, ways I'm trying to grow. You feel me? To all my day one, two, three, four, 97, whatever week you came in, thank you so much for tuning in. For those of y'all that have been here, though, I just had to, you know, thank y'all for tuning in. We are 174 weeks straight, right? And y'all know that I pride myself on not missing any content. I have never missed a week. There was once, I think, and I'm pretty confident it was only one time that I was late. So it dropped Friday instead of Thursday, right? And this was one of them weeks where I heavily considered that just because I was like, okay, if once like, and I don't even know how I got to this place of recording on Wednesday night, like even recording on Tuesday is a struggle because I don't like editing on Wednesday. Like I really need to get away from that. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I'm just whatever, but y'all be getting the content. So it's whatever. But I don't know how I'm really sitting here past midnight recording, right? And so I was going through my day and I knew today was a long day. I also, like today was a long work day. I literally left, now I left the house for a different appointment, but I literally left the house at nine o'clock and did not come home for the day until after eight. I usually don't have days like that, but still... My work day went from 12, 12.45 till 7. That's usually not a thing because, first of all, I could never do that long of a day or whatever because I would have to be stopped by 5.30 to go pick up my kids. So I saw and interacted with either most face-to-face and then a couple of phone calls, like six different kids today. That's I don't usually do all that, but it just is what it is. I'm not tripping because when I get paid, it's it's going to be nice. You know what I'm saying? But I, it, like, so I was going through my day and I'm just like, bruh, this episode got to drop tomorrow. Like originally when I had it in my mind that I was going to record, I had it in my mind that I was going to record at a different point today and that didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I'm I'm like, okay, should I just record tomorrow early? and release it later in the day. Or I was like, I could even record tomorrow early and release it Friday because I'm not missing. It's just a little late, but I was just like, you know what? Tomorrow's going to be a busy day too. And Friday is like my light day. So I've now switched my schedule around to where most of the heavier appointments, like heavier work days or whatever, where I'm meeting with more kids is Monday through Thursday. And now I only have two kids I'm going to see on Friday and one on Saturday. So just kind of heavy, 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 and then trail off. So like I did this just because it was just too stretched out throughout the week. And it was just, it was beginning to be a lot because I work six days a week, right? This is why I'm very adamant about Sunday. I don't do no work, no phone calls, text messages. If I'm billing for it, I'm I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now, every once in a while, if a kid texts me and it's like super important, and this has only actually happened once where a kid texts me on Sunday and it was actually really important. And I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just not going to bill for this because I, I do care about what they're talking about, but I have to be adamant about it's not work. And like, since there's a part of me that like I genuinely have a heart for youth, you really got to be called to this work, right? So I genuinely have a heart, excuse me. So I genuinely, you feel me? Yeah, I'm not editing nothing out. Y'all finna get all this whatever because I don't have time for that. But I genuinely have a heart for youth. So like I just did it and I didn't bill for it and it just is what it is. But other than that, that only happened literally once. Outside of that, no, like if someone tries to offer me a new client or try to schedule anything on Sunday, absolutely not. Actually, absolutely. Okay. Not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, because I have to have that one day a week that I know I don't work. That's how I can go hard, pause if needed, six days a week, because I know that on Sunday I'm not doing any work, right? So what else has happened in the last week? Um, 
I don't remember if I told y'all. I don't know if we had got a couch and dining room set last episode. I It's all a blur, I think maybe, but we have another sectional and some other furniture coming. Um, the car is like, girl, listen. And if you're a man, I mean girl, because I say that to anybody. Listen, when I tell you Man, I just, God is good. That's all I can say. God is good. Um, it's, and it's not like it's a brand new car. You know what I'm saying? It's a, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a um, 2006 Ford, what is it? Ford Freestyle. I actually had never heard of it. You know what I'm saying? But it runs good. I'm telling y'all, I'll be in that thing floating on the interstate. Just, yes, that thing rides nice. It's. I guess kind of like a, almost like a SUV, but then almost kind of like a station wagon, but it's not, just Google it. You'll see how it's shaped. It's not shaped like a station wagon, but I don't know, but it just be me and that thing, maybe a kid every now and then my kids might ride or whatever. So there's plenty of room for us or whatever, but I don't care y'all. Cause I didn't have to pay for it. You feel me? I didn't have to put plates on it. You feel me? <laughs> Yes, y'all. And, and 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 even if I did and somehow I had the funding to do all that because I just haven't like it's not that I haven't had the money. It's that that wasn't a priority like us needing furniture. Because I remember someone asked me at some point kind of like, so what do you like? What do you think you want to do or whatever? And I was like, I need furniture and we have a vehicle and I can do what I need to do. So like we need furniture, right? Then we started getting furniture and I was like, okay, okay. I'm a, you know, get a car or whatever. And then look at God. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I have a vehicle. Um, it just like, y'all just, y'all don't even understand how like, Man, I was getting to this point with like, because I would have to get up, take all my kids to work, come home, have however much time, and then go start my work day. I literally did so much driving because that's all I do is drive from house to house to house. And I make it a point that like there are some kids that live closer to my mom, but Either way, these appointments are 30 minutes away from me. Like I'm when I say I'm driving, like, and I know for y'all that live in like bigger cities or whatever where traffic is a lot, y'all probably laughing at that little 30 minutes. But for y'all, it takes two hours to get, you know, 10 minutes away just because traffic is so congested. For here where I live, 30 minutes means it's far because traffic don't be that serious to where it takes 30 minutes to get somewhere unless it's 30 minutes away, like in normal conditions. And so like everyone lives at least, I think the closest kids are like 15 minutes away, but there's only a couple like that. And the majority of everyone else is like a good 30 minutes away. And there are some that they live closer to my mom. And so what I will do is the way I have it situated or whatever is I may go wait at her house for a while so that I don't have like what I'm not about to come back home. And because there have been times that I do that and then I get comfortable and then I'm late to the next appointment. You know what I mean? And so I'll go to my mom's house because that way not only am I not coming all the way back home. So that's probably not the best use of my gas, but also like I'm not going to get too, too comfortable because it's not my house. You know what I'm saying? So it has been crazy, y'all, but here we are. Um, I'm super excited about this car. <laughs> y'all, like, so I just, it, it don't even seem real. Like, it's, and it's, it's wild because even though technically it's a work vehicle, like, that's the reason that I got it. Like, I can use, it's my vehicle. It's the only vehicle. Like, he knew when he bought it that I didn't have a vehicle of my own. So he was like intentional to say, I don't care if you use it for personal use too. Probably because he knew she don't have no other vehicle of her own. So like the whole time though, I don't even really go anywhere. Like I literally go work, church, that's it. Now, who knows? You know what I'm saying? I might do other things because now I can, but 
at the same time I work so much, I be just ready to come home at the end of my work day. But that's why I'm kind of making my Friday and my um, Saturday, especially my Saturday, like I made it to where my appointment, the one kid I see, we meet earlier so that my Friday can end earlier because it's just like, it just felt like a lot every day. And I need to feel like I can have some room to breathe. Plus I'm really trying to get back to getting my content, like for my company content and my apparel brand content, like getting that back going. But I keep having to find a better rhythm because it's like I be really, really busy, like with my subcontracting work, definitely not complaining, right? But still, there's not just that that I do. But I really want to give Kayliana those tasks of actually scheduling it. I don't mind creating it, but I just don't want to have to go back to scheduling it. So I'm going to ease back into it until I have another computer to where she can do what she needs to do and not take away from me. Cause right now I only have this one MacBook, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, that's kind of how this last week has been just a quick little update, I guess. I mean, quick ish, you feel me, but as always guys, make sure that you are taking care of yourself mentally, emotionally, take care of yourself spiritually and physically, make sure that you are healthy in your relationships Man, just take care of y'all. So y'all, it's spring. There's that too. <coughs> Excuse me. We done got past like y'all spring forward was really kicking my butt. So that was that too, where I was struggling, but I feel like my body has adjusted. I'm loving the the, the sunshine is out longer. I'm loving the warmer weather. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. So y'all, Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of y'all day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Ladies and gents, this concludes transmission. Tune in next time for a whole new edition, another adventure and mission to share, be heard, and clarify the vision of this whole new world for... Damn.